questions for you. <laughs> Controversial, but I'm sure you'll be able to give the perfect answers. Ready? Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh Mehmet. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa I'd like to ask you a few questions with your permission. Sheikh Mehmet, um, you have been chosen as the deputy of Imam Mahdi. What does that mean for you? I am chosen. I will not appoint us to for his place. So his place when Mahdi and Sam come here. Is uh, also one of the deputy of Mehta Ali Salam. We are uh, following order only. So I'm not saying I am this, I am that. Only uh, when something happens, we can be, if we are not, another one. But inshallah, we hope to, it is uh, near Sayyidina al -Mahdi. There, we are waiting a long time ago, all people waiting, but it's now end of time. Inshallah, we hope to be his deputy. Imam Mahdi was supposed to reveal himself in 2011 at the Hajj, but instead there was a spiritual meeting between you, Sheikh Nazim, and the Mahdi. What did the Mahdi reveal to you at that time? This uh, date, this is uh, heavenly, and uh, it is appear for Awliya Allah. Time, it is not important because sometimes they give a date, but this date, when you see in heavenly, maybe it is near, maybe it is far. From love of Allah, you cannot read it as just order of Allah, and it is like this. So we uh, waiting. There has been um, some opposition to your leadership um, within within the tariqat itself. Has it been resolved to your satisfaction now? Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, we are only following order of Maulana, and it is order for everybody. Somebody, if they are not happy, we cannot force them. It is way of heart. You cannot force people to follow you. What only like to do to have good people was with us. Maybe because after Maulana, he select people, choose people who will, must be follow us to not make it uh, more hard because it is too hard to this uh, situation this position for us. But if you have uh, difficult people, it will be more difficult. So he select them and he take them out. And Alhamdulillah, we are going now with very good people, inshallah, and put, uh, asking Allah to send people who will be good for uh, Tariqah, for Ummah, inshallah. Imam Mahdi is supposed to be part of the Naqshbandi Tariqat. How do you feel about being a, um, a guide for the Mahdi? Uh, this is uh, maybe it is a little bit misunderstood. Maulana was say, saying for Imam Mahdi when he come, he is mujtahid mutlaq. What meaning this? 
istihad meaning to put rule for Sharia. So Prophet Sallallahu he was first ruler. After him, there was many mazhab tariqa, also all the, most of them uh, finish only for uh, mazhab. Hanafi, Shafi, Maliki, Hanbali. And tariqa, there is 41 tariqa. All this, mujtahid meaning. Everyone, they have different opinion. But when Mahdi salam coming, Mawlana was saying the last uh, time here, it will be only one mazhab, one tariqa. So no tariqa in his time. Only his, because uh, he is real uh, Khalifa. And we all people following him by tariqa and by sharia also. So no Naqshiman at that time, only his, uh, no any uh, tariqa. Why has the Mahdi needed to remain hidden for so long? For some wisdom from Allah Azza wa Jalla, but it is, it need this, I think. If he appear, he will, uh, people, uh, no time for it. when he appear he will be for his time but now he didn't because time not yet or they're not coming yet for to appear it must be cooked this world still need i think <laughs> I, I don't know if it still need but it uh, looks like it is very cooked uh, burned now <laughs> But uh, inshallah, we wear it, inshallah. Time, Allah, you know, the, the best. Allah Azza wa Jal, you know. For such a, um, a huge spiritual being, why will he only have 313 followers? And then, uh, I, I didn't understand this. The, the, they say that Imam Mehdi will have 313 followers, no, this, uh, supporters. Uh, uh, the commander, this uh -huh. commander. The other, the down of them, many they have. All will be, inshallah, followers. But he will also face a lot of opposition. Who are the forces that will be opposing the Mahdi? Of course, the people who are following making this mess in this world, this Islamic world, especially, and other forces also who are against Islam, also. All this, we, Shaitan uh, army, all uh, will be facing. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, Bibi Fatma. Yeah. And, um, you know, our Prophet gave her so much um, respect yeah. and regard. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, uh, uh, she died uh, quite sad and disappointed. Um, and she, she faced opposition. Why is this? There is uh, many things uh, for this. She, uh, she is, because uh, she was the most uh, beloved for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She was uh, very sad, very sensitive. And she couldn't uh, more than six months leave after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he was tell her Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was ill 
I will pass away. And she was very sad. And, uh, tell her, uh, good tidings her, you will be with me after the first one. You will be with me. So she was like this, very sensitive. And uh, small thing happened that time. She was, uh, because uh, Sahaba, radiallahu anhu, they are uh, good, but uh, to make uh, it was test. It was really uh, difficult for the order of Prophet and this sensitive of Sayyidatul and Fatma. So it was very uh, difficult for them. But uh, for order of Prophet Sallallahu they prepared to do it. And she was disappointed for this. But Allah uh, reward her and she will be, inshallah, happy, very, very happy. She, because she first one went to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is a little bit thing in dunya. We cannot... Uh, she was whole t uh, life suffering from dunya. So she, after Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also uh, this happened for her just to make her higher in her degree. So uh, no need to make it uh, something big for uh, to curse any Sahaba or to uh, say wrong thing for Sahaba. What has been her role and the role of Bibi Zainab in keeping the religion pure? What has been their contribution? Uh, she is uh, the fa mother of all uh, uh, Ahl the generation of uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is uh, enough. And she, is, she was like mother for Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even she is daughter, but she was like yeah, mother. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she had a big, yeah. very big uh, role. She is right, named after uh, Sahaba she is coming. Hassan, Hussain Sayyidina Fatima. She's there. And also Bibi Zainab? Bibi Zainab, but she's uh, the Fatima the best. Yes. Yeah. But even Bibi Zainab, uh, yeah. you know, she um, um, went against um, and gave this, uh, uh, took on the authorities and challenged them uh, yeah. as being a woman. And, you know, uh, how important was that for us as Muslims, her example? you know, that she stood up and she spoke out against what she thought was wrong that was happening in the time. Uh, after... Uh, after Karbala. After Karbala. This is uh, another subject. Sayyidina Fatima rule, another subject. Sayyidina Zainab. 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 It is uh, also a big thing, but that time what happened, it was wrong. And it was against uh, the fitna beginning from there, from uh, not from, uh, it is a long story, but it is uh, really sad thing happened, wrong, very wrong thing happened at that time for Islam especially, because this uh, uh, not accepting uh, the highness of uh, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said they are making as uh, uh, they are the highest position in Quraysh. So it was real uh, difficult. It is a long uh, thing to do uh, to stay here. But uh, Alhamdulillah, Allah He honored them, and now 
everywhere, millions of people visiting her, but who make wrong for them, nobody visiting them, nobody asking for them. Sheikh Nazim had told me that um, Hazrat Abu Bakr said that um, um, that he uh, was keeping the amanat of Bibi Fatma to give to Imam Mahdi. Yeah. What is this amanat? It's, uh, spiritual amanat, actually. Spiritual, I think. Poetry has a big... Sayyidina uh, Mahdi also from uh, her grandsons. So, from... Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his grandmother, Bibi Fatma, he will take it when he appears, inshallah. Sheikh Nazim um, always uh, praised um, his wife, your mother, Haji Anna, saying that she is a great spiritual power and spiritual support for him. Mm -hmm. um, what what is this um, what what is the kind of spiritual support that she was giving him? Because she is also one of forty big awliya, Arbain we call it. Because there is seven of them, ladies. This forty awliya every time they have. When somebody passes away, another coming. Seven of them. Uh, Woman, one of them, Haj Anna. From this, she was supporting. And support, supporting also in life, also. Because when he was married to her, going everywhere, and she was not, uh, she encouraging to go uh, for tablet, for uh, uh, give people blessing and to guide them to the right way. She is not complaining at all when she is born. And she is looking for house and children. So he was also supported by to be not worry for his house. And especially for uh, spiritual support also. The power, this power of the feminine, the spiritual feminine, seems to be kind of hidden and not really so much um, talked about or uh, understood. Is this, is this understanding going to be a part of the spiritual awakening in the future? The power of the, the female spirituality. If you like, if you see, uh when you go anywhere, the ladies, they are more than men for ziara, for praying and so on. It is more, but they are, Allah give, give them a role to make good people for her family or for another to do. Their role, it is big. They are the first teacher for men. It is a big thing, like Bibi Patma, like other. So it is not uh, what uh, feminine, fem uh, they are saying we don't have anything. No, they have. They have the biggest thing, they bring all this uh, big. Uh, People, Prophet Sallallahu said, no, I'm in a, it's a son of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, not enough. All this, every Allah, they have mothers. All it must be uh, pure people, good people. Uh, Sheikh Nazim used to say that the current flows uh, with the two uh, points. So the ma the man and the woman, the male energy and the female energy, has to come together to become the real power. Um, it, 
um, is this the secret that the, they they have to sort of work together to become uh, to become more powerful? Sometimes like this, but many times uh, they cannot. Uh, they must be suffer from this also. <laughs> Not everybody is so lucky, huh? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Sheikh Nazim um, called Hala Sultana his sultan. Yeah. Is it possible for a woman to be a sultan of men? Yeah, of course, with this uh, uh, Sahabi, all we call them sultan. Ayyub sultan we call them. Well, in our tradition, we call all Sahaba Sultan. So she is Sultan here. Um, Imam Mehdi and Jesus Christ are supposed to come together. Yeah. Um, could this also be um, something like this, uh, this uh, coming together of the male-female balance uh, somehow? Is this part of the uh, bringing harmony to the world? That time, it is only uh, by miracle coming, not uh, one normal thing, uh, male of male, only the miracle time that time. Uh, no need for this, because it is only small, uh, short period after it will be judgment uh, of Kiyama. It was no time to make harmony, to make it, it's, it's only a very short time. It will just be instantly? Yeah, yeah. Everything will just shift? Yes. Overnight or yeah, very yeah, quickly? Yeah. That they will appear and everything will just fall into place? Uh, take maybe... Because the time will finish then. The time for so, um, uh, for people to make amends or, or uh, say sorry will be over. Yes. It will maybe... Uh, one month, five months, eight months, one year. It normally, it must be one year. But uh, if time, no time, Professor Salam said, in one day also it will can be all this. Thank you, Sheikh Mehmet. Yeah. Inshallah, I'll uh, make it uh, very near to meet him, inshallah. All people meet him, inshallah. Allah. Shahidullah. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.